you ever wondered what makes Budweiser Budweiser? If you said the finest ingredients or beechwood aging, you're right. But what really makes this a Budweiser? Or better yet, who really makes Budweiser? Creating Budweiser requires dedicated people, men and women who have some of the coolest jobs on earth. I am, I am, I am the brewmaster. I'm the brewmaster. 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 I am the brewmaster. The title of brewmaster is the person that is really the guardian of quality and the person that is responsible for the consistency, drinkability, and quality of the beer through the entire brewing process. To be called a brewmaster, that is one of my greatest accomplishments because what it says is I take pride in my work and I'm making a product that people can enjoy. Brewing is an art. As much as I like to make it a science, at the end of the day, it's what the beer tastes like. That's why we're called brewmasters. I love my job because I make the greatest beer in the world. I make Budweiser. Now that is a cool job. John, did you know that in 1876, a brewmaster named Adolphus Bush created Budweiser using only the finest all-natural ingredients? And Amber, the ingredients used to brew Budweiser remain the same today. That's right, John. Five key ingredients allow our brewmasters to work their magic. First, let's talk about barley malt. Barley malt. Barley malt. We use only the finest barley malt. Well, barley malt is what's known as the soul of beer. It's the backbone on which all of the flavor is built. It is going to give you color, and it's going to give you the malty flavor that you find in beer. Without high-quality barley malt, we wouldn't have a high-quality beer. The next ingredient is rice. 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 We use rice to brew Budweiser. Rice is really important to our profile of beers. It gives a crispness and a very clean finish. Rice is unique to, to Budweiser in that it adds a great deal of drinkability. It adds a great deal of snap to our products. Another key ingredient, water. 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 Pure and clean water is one of the most important ingredients. The water used to brew Budweiser is as clean as possible to ensure that it adds no flavor to the final product. At all of our Anheuser-Busch breweries, water is filtered to exact standards and generally is recognized as being some of the cleanest, purest water that is used in any industry, uh, let alone brewing. Budweiser is brewed with the finest hops. 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 We hand select our hops. Hops give beer its personality. Hops add the spice to the beer. Without hops, there would be no spiciness, no real flavor. We spend a tremendous amount of time focusing on the hop. We treat it with a reverence that just nobody can really understand when it comes to the blending of our hops just to achieve exactly the right balance of aroma and clean bitterness on the finish. And our final ingredient. Yeast. 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 Yeast is that unique ingredient that makes our beer special. Our yeast used in Budweiser goes back literally more than a century and the yeast itself gives lift and fullness to the beer. Yeast is the engine that makes it all go. Yeast is what makes Budweiser. So now we know what five key ingredients go into Budweiser. But how does Budweiser come out of those five ingredients? That would be the art of brewing. We could spend hours describing the brewing process, but the famous Budweiser label really says it best. We know of no brand produced by any other brewer, which costs so much to brew and age. Now obviously Budweiser doesn't brew itself. It's a complicated process. So let's simplify it for you by breaking down brewing into two areas, the hot side and the cold side. It all begins in the brew house, which is like a large kitchen where the ingredients used in our famous Budweiser recipe come together. This is the hot side, and it's where the barley malt, rice, water, and hops are brought to a boil in our majestic brew kettles, creating the foundation of our beers. John, now it's time to chill. After the hot side, the brew is then sent to the cold side. This is where yeast is added and fermentation begins. It takes a full month to brew Budweiser. And before it's crowned the king of beers, one expensive and unique step remains. Beechwood aging is a vital process in the maturation of Budweiser. The beechwood chips are laid at the bottom of the maturation tank to give surface area for the yeast to more completely and in a very balanced fashion mature the beer for that crisp clean finish. And every step along the way, Budweiser's brewmasters do something lots of us would enjoy doing. They taste the beer. And while that seems like one heck of a fringe benefit, tasting the beer is a special skill that ensures its consistency and drinkability.
We taste every batch of beer, every tank, every step of the process to ensure it meets our exacting specifications. The brewing process for Budweiser is unique because of the people who brew it, the passion behind it. It's all about the quality of the ingredients and our adherence to tradition and the art of brewing. At the end of the day, it's all about the taste of the beer. The pride, the passion, the people, the quality. I brew Budweiser. The world's finest beers. I am. I am. I am the brewmaster. I'm the brewmaster. Brewmaster. I brew Budweiser, and I'm proud of it.